My parents posted bail after I was charged and the next six weeks were the best weeks of my life. I started getting around with all these Sharpies. The Sharpies were a group that sort of kicked off with the Truth newspaper who did this fashion story about them. The Truth said that Sharpies wore staggers jeans, Cuban heeled shoes from Acropolis, Conti jumpers from Mr. Conti in Richmond and Kresnik t-shirts. They listened to rock and roll bands like Lobby Lloyd and the Coloured Balls. I had a shaved skull, a number one haircut with a square back, and I was getting around in lead jeans and white t-shirts and size 10 and a half Cuban heeled Acropolis chisel toed shoes. I got them handmade for me by Mr. Acropolis. I looked a bit like a Sharpie, so I fell in with them for a while. We used to meet up at Flinders Street Station and there'd be hundreds of them coming in from Frankston and every suburb along the Frankston line. They'd come in from Doncaster, Ivanhoe, Croydon, Morty Alley, Carlton and Richmond too. We'd all get together and start banging people up and banging the Sharpie shielders. The girls used to come running up to me in their miniskirts, their little white ankle socks, their cork sole clogs and braces over their white t-shirts. 14, 15 year old birds, still in school. Gorgeous little things. We'd wander around the city then come 10 o'clock, we'd head out to Williamstown on the trains, out to one of the dances, over to the big hall in St Kilda or to Chase's in Paran. I was eating family sized pizzas and drinking 15 to 20 pots of beer a day and spent all night wrecking absolute havoc. I would have gone on with it too, but my parents pulled the bail money. I ended up sitting in D Division with Charlie for five or six months, waiting for trial. I'd been out of jail for roughly three years. But while we were in D Division,